So our guts can tell us a lot about what stresses us as well as several other things. One study taking place right now on board the station is getting a look at uh, the guts of a couple of astronauts uh, to give an insight into the bacteria in that area, uh, which is known as the microbiome, uh, and to see how spaceflight affects it. Uh, they also have a ground subject as well, uh, as this is uh, part of Scott Kelly and his twin brother Mark's twin study. NASA commentator Lori Meggs caught up with the co-investigator of this experiment to learn more. I'm looking at the bacteria in the gut of both twins uh, longitudinally over time um, while one is going to be spending a year in space and one will be on the ground. Um, having the twins is very powerful because there's growing data that suggests that the uh, genetic makeup of the individual human actually has a very strong influence on some of the bacteria that live in their gut. So some genetic types of humans are better hosts for some genetic types of bacteria. So we call this microbiome? That's called the microbiome, right. Um, microbiome would be all of the microbes living in a particular environment. In our case, it's the GI tract. Um, but we're focusing really only on the bacteria, which is the vast majority of the microbes in the gut anyway. We've had other microbiome studies as well. What, what makes this one different? Is it because of the twin situation? Well, the twins makes it unique. Um, I think the longitudinal aspect, we're going to have an individual in space for a year and be able to track what changes are happening over that course of time. So that's another unique aspect. We really don't know what's going to happen with the bacterial diversity in the gut. Um, over that long of a period of time. What do we learn from studying this? Well, there are a lot of unique stressors, but stress is not unique to space. So I think having an idea of what's going on with the bacteria in the gut um, in response to stress and having related measures in terms of um, sampling at the same periods of time, um, having those same time points for things like immune system function, um, mood, other measures of health, uh, blood pressure, you know, what's going on in their lives, are they sleep deprived, um, having all of those data to relate to the microbiome will give us a much richer picture of how the um, bacteria in the gut can actually influence other aspects of your health. And that would be wonderful information to have for human health on Earth, as well as looking towards longer term space flight, like going to Mars. You're a university professor. You have a space station experiment, an international no, space isn't station. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, what's that's that like? So, oh, that's so exciting. I mean, when we found out our project had been selected for one of these twin studies, you know, we were just thrilled beyond words. We couldn't stop telling people, stopping colleagues in the hallway saying, we're going to NASA, we're getting a NASA project. I mean, it's, it, it's just such a huge thrill. And the NASA people have been so wonderful to work with. They've been so engaged, involved at every step of the planning. It's, it's really a great opportunity.